This video will demonstrate a setup for Windows 10 for sending Morse code over the Internet. We're using Mumble as the VoIP program and VoiceMeter as the audio mixer. When you install VoiceMeter, it comes with two virtual audio cables, the VoiceMeter Veo and the VoiceMeter Aux. One will be used strictly for the Mumble output. And in this example, we're going to use VoiceMeter Veo for the output. Let's demonstrate that real quick. Okay, and uh, there's a few pops and clicks, and that's from the video software taxing the, the uh, audio engine here, and we're getting some pops and clicks, but that's not on the original audio. Now we're also using the equalizer here. We've taken the highs and the lows and uh, increased the mids. That kind of cleans up the CW a little bit. And that's optional, of course. Now for the transmitting to the mumble input, we use the voice meter aux virtual audio cable. So we'll demonstrate that here with FL Digi. And as you see the on this channel right here, we have the VU meters going. In order to transmit to Mumble using this virtual audio cable, the voice meter aux, you have to click the B2 button. So anything that any input channel that has the B2 button will go out on this voice meter aux virtual audio cable, which will be sent to the Mumble input. Now you want to keep the mumble input and the mumble output from interfering with each other. That's why we're using two individual virtual audio cables. And once you install Voice Meter Banana, uh, that will automatically be installed on your system. You just have to reboot for it to, to stick and to, for it to be uh, on there when you boot it up again. On mumble, go into the settings here real quick. Audio input, we're using the voice meter aux, which is this second channel on the virtual inputs on voice meter bananas mixer. For the audio mumble output, we're using vo voice meter veo, which is this channel right here. Any, any of the inputs where you have A1 clicked, that goes to your sound card so you can hear it. For our A1, we're using this speaker and the WDM. There's a bit of a latency difference. You can also use ASIO if you have a ASIO sound card. It should show up right here. So for paddles we have a tone coming into the mic jack. So because A1 is clicked and highlighted, we hear it on the A1 sound card. And because B2 is highlighted, it's going, going also going to go out at the same time to the voice meter aux virtual audio cable, which is where Mumble is listening. So we'll look at the VU meter here. I also have a straight key going into the mic check with a side tone. So I have both panels and a CW keyboard that works using Voice Meter Banana. This is a very good piece of uh, audio software. In the menu, go to System Settings and Options. And this is fairly much a default settings here at 512, 44100 sample rate normal engine mode and we're not using exclusive mode. If you notice any latency you can always lower the buffers. You can always change this from no to yes. Connected. We'll, ta we'll, ta we'll, ta we'll take it back here. And the engine mode it also has a lower latency setting in Swift so you could try that too. If you choose MME, the latency will be a little bit more. And that may not 
be a big issue, so I just have to try it and see. But that's the main settings. Everything else will come default in normal mode, and you can read the manual on this. Voice meter banana also has a recorder, so you can record your QSO. And if you had other sound cards, you could also send that to the input of mobile. So if you had a USB microphone, you could select that here or a line input sound card, a USB sound card where you had a line input from your rig you wanted to share you know, HF audio online you could use another input here for that. You just have to keep one thing in mind you don't want to click B2 for voice meter VAO. If the output of mumble goes out B2 it comes right over here and goes back into mumble and you'll get a repeating loop so You don't want that. So if we did this on the loopback test, I'll demonstrate that real quick. Go to audio output, loopback, server, hit apply. Now we should get a two tones, original tone sent, and the second tone, the time it takes to go from here to the server and back. And that second tone is coming in voice meter veo. Now if we had B2 clicked, that's what you want to avoid. So only one channel transmits to mumble through B2. And either sound card will work. I just found this convenient to keep things straight. That's pretty much it. It's a fairly simple setup. Voice meter banana with its default settings works fairly well. You can play with the equalizer. I'll we'll demonstrate that again here. So we're getting a little bit too many pops and clicks there from the software. Anyway, you can play with this equalizer. I think it does pretty good when you take the treble and the bass all the way down, turn up the mids a little bit and it'll also increase the volume slightly. That's the basic setup for sending Morse code over the internet using Voice Meter Banana and Mumble. Thank you for watching.